Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel and today we are going to unbox the thermal cooker that I bought here. I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos for narrow boating in Great Britain. There's a show called Foxes Afloat. There are a couple who is narrow boating in the canals of England and this is what they use as their cooker. I just found it interesting because they cook it for about 10-15 minutes and then they put it in this thermal cooker and let it sit anywhere from three to six hours which I thought was really fascinating that you could be cooking while you're narrow boating. Now applying the same principle I could be driving to my next RV site or next destination while my dinner is cooking in the back seat. So I got one, we're going to try it out, uh, we're going to unbox it. The reason I got this particular one is because it matches the airstream. It's silver and white, it's like my kitchen here, it's silver and white. Oh, I ordered this from Amazon, so I'll put the put a description below. So if you want one, you can order one. They're actually not. This one wasn't that expensive. It was sixty. I think it was sixty-seven dollars. looks like it's energy saving triple layer base for all the heat source including induction which is a good thing because we have an induction stove here at PH1 okay let's see what's inside Hopefully it comes with a recipe book because I have really no clue how to use one of these. Silver and white. Ta da! Warranty thermal cooker instruction book. Doesn't come with a cook. Okay. Before first use, remove all the packaging material. Oh, this could go good with the um, instant pot. I don't know if it's the same width though. Do not eat, throw away. They really need to put a warning on these. Okay, here's the outer pot. It's insulated. Stainless steel inner pot. Handle supporter. I have no clue where the handle supporter. One, two, three. Handle supporter. Okay, this is the handle supporter. 
outer pot lid. That's this. Seal ring, removable. Oh, there's a seal ring right there. It's already included. Inner pot glass lid. Vent removable. A removable vent. Oh, we're here. Oh, oh, that's what this is. Okay, this is the backup. How to use. Take out the insert, this thing, add ingredients and seasoning into the ins insert, at least 80% of pot capacity. There is no marker, so it's a guesstimation. Heat and stop cooking. Place over electric or gas for cooking. After boiling, turn off the stove. Duh. End of cooking time, remove, insert, blah. Close the lid. Put the food in thermal pot. Okay, there's, there's a tab here. Right there, there's a tab where this thing goes to. Move around, close the lid, and lock it. <clears throat> now you're supposed to cook the food three to six hours. That's it. There's no cookbook. Okay, I guess we're going to wing it. But first, what we got to do before I start making my first meal with this is I'm going to wash everything. Okay, while we're waiting for this to dry, we're almost dry. I went on Amazon and I didn't even know that these things existed. These are one pot spices. They're for slow cookers or pressure cookers. I got this Tuscan brand. This is this came in a pack. So this one is Tuscan. Oh, it's from Zen of Slow Cooking. So I got this Tuscan multi cooker one. Smoky barbecue. Indian doll, which is what we're gonna have tonight. Kokyu Vam? I have no clue. Provam? Southwest Fiesta. Now that came in a multi pack. And then I got this other one, Crock Pot. Savory Herb Chicken. Hearty Beef Stew. Savory Pot Roast. And Barbecue Pulled Pork. Now this came in a pack also. It's from Crock Pot. So we're gonna try these as the days progress. But for now we're gonna do the Indian doll and there is a recipe on the back. We're going to try to follow it and make modifications because this particular one, it's a red lentil coconut curry, but it does not come with meat. So we're going to add chicken. So we're already modifying the menu. And it asks for two tablespoons of tomato paste. I might be adding the whole little can because hmm, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Because what I'm going to do with the rest of the can is I'm just going to throw it out. Two cups vegetable broth. I don't like vegetable broth. I got chicken broth. And the whole can of coconut milk, which I got. Okay. So I'm going to start pulling these ingredients together. Okay, here are the ingredients. Garlic, olive oil, onion, 
coconut milk, chicken broth, salt, tomato paste, lentils, and of course the mix, and the chicken.
we're just gonna sit, <laughs> watch Netflix, and wait. The reason, again, that I got this particular cooking thing, cookery, thermal cooker, is because there is no plug. No plug. You heat up the food, and you shove it in here. It's actually a little bit warm. Shove it in here and let, let it slowly, slowly cool, cook, and it will retain the heat, and it will cook the food inside. And hopefully it will be ready in three to six hours. So right now, it is 1.30. We generally eat about 5, 5.30. So one, two, yeah, three hours. So we'll, we'll eat at six, give it three and a half hours since it's chicken. And I've already pre-cooked it, kind of. We'll see what happens in three and a half hours. Okay, I'm gonna make rice. So it's been almost four hours. Oh, it's still hot. Oh, it's still hot. Do you want a hot pepper? It's 94 degrees. What it looks like? It's like peanut butter. It's like kare kare. This is a complete test. <laughs> We do have jalapeno peppers here also. Actually, it's not bad. No, I like it. Yeah. Okay, salt to taste. We, I don't cook with salt. For the 20 people that actually watch my videos, you all know I've had two heart attacks and I'm on a low sodium diet. So, salt to taste. Mm -hmm. It tastes cooked. No, it's very good. I actually like this. Yes. Oh, we're going to have to order more of this packet. Um, doll? Indian doll? Yeah. Thank you for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Okay, this we're going to keep. Someone must have made a cookbook somewhere. I'm gonna to have to go on Amazon and look up thermal cookers and see if someone already made a cookbook.
Ugh. <sighs> 